So why construction? I love building. I love working on cool projects. The construction industry is a very dynamic industry. You're literally changing your working environment on a daily basis. I have been on countless rooftops in this city. I have seen views that nobody gets to see. I mean, you can work on a high rise one year, a stadium annexed, a hospital, anything. What gets me out of bed every morning is solving problems, whether it's in a room, whether it's on site, and being able to put together this final product. Saying I had a hand in that building and it's working the way it should is an amazing feeling. In the last five years, it's changed so much. Technology that we didn't have or exist now exists, and it's pretty amazing to see that transformation. When I first started, it was still very much pencil and paper, and now everyone's got an iPad. You have everything at your fingertips, whether it's drawings, specs, RFIs, issue reports. It can be accessed all from one device now. The thing that I've seen change is, is the way we can estimate. You have better programs, better tools available that allow you to spell out where those dollars and time differences are. Before we used to come onto a project site, we'd be pouring concrete, we'd be laying out, and the electrician would come and say, oh, the plumber's pipes is in my way, and then we'd have to figure out, okay, who are we gonna put where? All of those issues we are now trying to solve before we even get to the project site. It's important to mitigate risk with our subcontractors before we start construction. When you're actually in construction and you are faced with all sorts of risks, projects become a lot to handle and a lot to manage. Anything that we can do in the pre-construction phase to mitigate risk makes the process of actually building the projects for our clients much more successful. Connected technology to me is all about the communication. There's so many parties that are not at the construction site but are vital to what we do as a contractor every day. From the trade contractors up through the GCs to the owners and the design team, we're all able to talk in the same language with a lot of the same platforms. Looking to the future and what we have coming up in construction, what more can we do? From a technology standpoint, how do we do modeling with not just 3D, but 4 and 5D, and how do we integrate time and cost into our models? How do we make things better than they are today? When we start looking at future things like robotics, drones, VR, AR, all these different things, that's motivation. That's my drive to keep implementing, keep innovating, and keep striving for better things within the business.